data modeling after physical data model i may require logical data model where these two fact table should be clubbed together to become a one fact table so we create a view on top of these two fact table and this become a star schema for me right this look like a star schema multiple dimension table surrounded to a single fact table this is all assessment you supposed to do before you start Okay, uh, for a new initiative or new implementation, but most of the time you get a project or assignment where the SD solution is already inbuilt. We will talk about these cases now. So you should be competent enough to deal with the new situation, new requirement as well as existing queue. So once everything is done, basically we are not part of that process. Physical data modeling and logical data modeling. Ideally, we use give your recommendation when everything is done. The actual life cycle of as they starts from here. These are the steps. I'm going to compare these life cycle with traditional relational database life cycle. Because most of you might have worked or know the fundamental about RDBMS. So this is RDBMS terminology and this is as space or multidimensional or OLAP server terminology. In as space we call creating a database. First we have a creating the application. The creating application, one application is equal to one database in RDBMS term. One database consists of multiple tables. Like right? in a database we have got multiple tables. Similarly, one application has multiple databases. The counterpart, the equivalent meaning of table in RDBMS is database. We also call our term called cube. Cube, what does your table consist of in general? It has column, column information, column type, the primary key and various other properties. Right? Similarly, we also have such these properties in uh, database. But here we call them term dimension, there we call term column, here we call dimension, we call members, we call hierarchy, and we call properties. Same thing, terminologies are different. If you correlate them, it is easy for you to understand. And in RDBMS, we have an insert operation, right? We use a term called insert operation. In a simple word, we create one, there is one Java application .NET, some application layer sit on top of RDBMS and which records a transaction, right? Day to day sales, marketing, you know, shipping, all these things are day to day transaction, which we record through some interface into your RDBMS. So this is called insert operation. Here we call term load, data load. The meaning is same, why do you call data load? We do, we also have insert operation as well in that space, but we use a term called planning and budgeting. For so planning and budgeting, we use insert term. In general, we use a term called data load, right? Why? Because, suppose I'm designing a as this solution, so from my transactional system, data goes to my, through various process goes to my data warehouse and then it goes to S space, right? This is how it works. From the system it goes to data warehouse and it goes to S space. So the data from data warehouse to S space, this term we call load, loading or data load. Whereas, in transaction system, this happen. But for RDBMS, what happened? There is some application, some application layer. Application layer like your Java program, your .NET program, your C++, some program, 
with interface where people enter the data. So you go to Walmart and when you buy something, the system they use to insert the record is called application layer. And this goes, this application data goes to RDBMS directly in RDBMS system. Right? So in application, you user enter the data into application. Here users are through application tier, user enter data to application layer which in turn goes to RDBMS. So the data feed for SBS and RDBMS are different. Here we call insert operation, this is actually an insert operation. So every time you buy, go and buy something from Walmart, the system they use to insert the record, this is called insert operation. So call loading data and then you perform there's a need of there may be need of calculation right? a simple example of calculation how we do in a database you might do it on the fly like sales and you are calculating 10% of sales is commission right this is how you write So this is a Zudo column or it does not is does not exist create on the fly. Similarly in Aspace we there will be a need of calculation, a simple example of calculation like the one I shown you. Commission equals to 10% of sales. It could be simple calculation like this, or it could be more complex calculation like allocation, adjustment, intercommunity transaction and uh, uh, you know minority interest, ratio analysis, could be complex calculation to this basic calculation. There will be another example of calculation or we use a consolidation. Consolidation. So consolidation like we store data This is one of my financial queue I was demonstrating to my client. So this is my financial data. I am loading information into January, February, March which in turn consolidate to quarter 1. So loading data at level 0 or bottom level and it consolidates to the parent. Parent, uh, you know, business may like to see data at high level of view. After loading data, there may be need of consolidation as well. It could be straightforward consolidation. It could be consolidation with some currency conversion or other aspects. At the, at the end of the day, what you present to the user, the reports. In fact, over the period of time, we I found you know, you are, if you start your analysis by looking at the existing reports, your solution is more close to what business need. So we do other way around. We look, we go to the client and ask them to showcase the reports they are using manually. Maybe they are using an Excel sheet, whatever tool they are using. Regardless of that, we look at the report and figure out how the report look like and how the user want to look at this. Report has hidden everything. Okay, that's so one which I explained to you about physical data model, logical data model mentioned over here. The presentation layer is means the reporting. My user sits over here. This is my user. So there may be or may not be need of physical data model. Then there may be or may not be need of logical data modeling. And finally you build a space cube and your reportings are done directly on your S base cube. Okay, so that's a brief about S base. Let's see what are the components S base has. S base has multiple components. You can if you look at the architecture. Uh, the architecture itself explains this thing. Any application architecture consists of at least three layer. We have a client here. And I repeatedly saying is a BI tool. Therefore the interface should be easy enough so people can work on it. So client here designed for two kind of interface. It's a user interface traditionally. 